My name is Jimmy, and I have a problem. <laughs> All right, guys, the problem is not with me. The problem is with my truck. You see, I drive a 1995 GMC Suburban, and it's my family hauler. I love this thing. But when we first bought it, the air conditioning didn't work. So I took it to the dealership, I got everything fixed, and it worked okay. I lived in California at the time, so it wasn't so hot there, and the AC worked okay. Now I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada, and in the summers here, it gets up to about 115, even hotter sometimes. So I decided to take out my old mechanical fan and swap in a Flexalite Monster fan system. That system is awesome. I'll put a link to the install video down in the description below. My truck has never been cooler. And when I say that, the temperature gauge in my truck, it's cooler than it's ever been. These fans pull so much air, it's unbelievable. My air conditioning also is worlds better than it was. But now I'm having another problem. And I think the problem has to do with my battery. You see, one of the things that I noticed when I first installed these fans is that my voltmeter would go from about 14 volts kind of slowly down to about 12 and sometimes even into the red zone. Now, it goes really quickly from 14 volts down into the red zone and it just kind of hovers there and I'm guessing that's where the alternator is trying to keep up with the current that the fans are pulling. <laughs> just yesterday we were in a drive-thru for Starbucks and sitting in the drive-thru I actually popped the 40 amp fuse that goes to these dual fans. Of course, with that fuse pop, the fans weren't on and my truck started getting hot and starting to overheat. So I'm trying to deduce the problem here. I'm trying to figure out what is the problem. And the only thing I can come up with is that it's the battery. It's gotta be. What I'm thinking is, while the battery can start my truck just fine, I don't know if it has necessarily enough juice to run the electronics, namely the fans. I did a little bit of research about this. I'm not super certain in my theory, but it kind of makes sense to me. It's an older battery, it's about two years and I think a few months old. I just think that maybe the battery is on its way out. Maybe the fans helped it to kind of die early, I don't know. But I did today go to Costco and I picked up a brand new battery and we're gonna throw that in and see how it works. So my battery seems okay, like you test the voltage and it says, you know, 12 volts. So I'm wondering, what do you guys think? Does my theory hold up? Can a battery start my car but then not have enough reserve capacity to run all of the electronics? All right, you know what? I'm gonna attempt to show you what this thing does. Okay, so AC is off, back AC is off, and what I want you to watch is my voltage here, um, which I don't know, this must be accurate. It's showing at like 12 volts approximately, and that's with nothing running. So let's go ahead and start this up. Starts up just fine. Okay, then, you know, the alternator is charging the the uh, battery up. I am in park and I noticed that when I'm in drive and stopped is a lot worse than when I'm actually in park and stopped or in neutral and stopped. Um, I guess the RPMs can be a little bit higher thereby letting the uh, alternator charge the battery a little bit better. But when I'm in drive and stopped, that's the worst. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, AC on so the fans kick on. You could kind of hear them kick on. Um, it, it, you know, it seems to be okay right now. Okay, so with the truck running, you can see we're getting almost 14 volts. So I'm assuming that that's okay. That means the alternator is actually charging the battery. Those fans in there are running, I Assuming at like close to full speed, 13, 3, 4, so that tells me that the alternator is charging the battery. The fans are on complete max, all the way high, the back one's on uh, all the way high. I'm still in park, so my RPMs are a little bit higher than normal, but you can see we're down to about 12 volts, and then when I go ahead and throw this thing in reverse and put a little bit of a load on it, you can see the voltage drop underneath the 12 and it actually kind of gets scares me it gets a little bit worse than that sometimes when we're at like a stoplight in the middle of the day it's burning hot outside 
All right, so I did turn off all the fans. The two monster fans under the hood were off, and then I checked the voltage at the battery and also at the back of the alternator. Um, and it was like 14 and a half, 14.6 volts. Those two fans are pulling a lot of current. I'd like to know if any of you guys have experience with this kind of stuff. Um, is that normal while everything is running, all the fans are on full blast, and the two fans under my hood are on full blast for my battery to be only getting 13 point, I think 13 and a half, 13.6 or something. And then, you know, is that normal for the alternator to be only be able to put out that much voltage? I guess the fans are probably stealing a lot of it. So it seems normal to me. I'm just concerned with the battery. I don't know if, I, I think that it's probably dying. It's, I think it's probably just as simple as that. The good thing is, is when I went to Costco, I talked to the guy and I asked him, hey, if I put this brand new battery in my truck and I realize that that wasn't the problem that I have, can I just take the battery out and return it? And he's like, yeah, whatever. So I have basically nothing to lose. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my old battery out, swap this new battery in and see how everything works. If everything works perfect as the way it should work and my voltage hopefully won't drop all the way down to the red zone, then I'll know it was the battery. If that still happens with this brand new battery, I don't know, I might be looking at a possible dual battery setup or something like that, which is kind of gonna irritate me, but it'd be cool. I got my 3 8 ratchet. Um, what is that? I think that's a 13 millimeter down there to take the bolt off that holds the battery in. And uh, once I do that, then I can disconnect the actual battery. Don't make fun of this, guys. It works. I'm putting all my uh, negative connections before this big uh, spacer pack back here, so it works just fine. I did have another brass post like this one on the negative side, but I ended up stripping it out inside uh, the battery, so that sucks. Like a glove. New battery is installed and uh, I've already tested it for voltage, seems to be properly charged. And I think the next thing is going to be to take this thing out for a test drive and watch that voltmeter. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start this thing up for the first time after the new battery install and see how it works. Okay. So that looks the same, but you know, I'm assuming it should look the same. I mean, it's supposed to be around 14 volts when the alternator is charging the battery. I'm gonna go ahead and crank on the AC. And what the heck, let's put on full blast. And wow, I think that's a result. It doesn't look like it's really moving. Oh wow, it just dipped all the way down to 12. I'm just sitting in reverse, idling. All right, so I'm at a stoplight now, and you can see my RPMs are probably six to 700, maybe 650. And uh, my voltmeter, you can see it's going way down. It's going totally and completely under the 12, and it's probably gonna hit the red mark if I sat here for very much longer. I don't know, guys, I'm at a loss. I mean, is this normal? Is this uh, completely normal? Is it normal for this to be down in the 12 uh, volts uh, area? Or am I right in thinking that it shouldn't be doing that? Um, I don't know. Everything seems to be running okay. My AC is cold. It's not really super cold, but it's it's decent cold. I mean, this is a 1995. But uh, what is going on there, guys? I need your input. Um, my temperature seems to be okay down there. Everything, the fans are working fantastic. It's just, I don't understand what's going on with my voltage. And on top of that, I popped a fuse the other day, so that tells me that something is going on. I don't quite know what. So let me know, guys. I mean, is it simply just because it's extremely hot outside um, and, you know, heat kind of messes with electronics pretty bad? I mean, I don't know. 
Uh, comment below, let me know, I'm kind of at a loss right now. The only other thing I could possibly think of that might cure this is just adding a second battery. Uh, so there's more capacity to run electronics, thereby not allowing the voltage to drop so low. Um, I am slightly curious if it happens to be the alternator, although the alternator is brand new and it's an upgraded alternator made in the USA by Powermaster. It's a 140 amp alternator. Its specific job is to be able to, um, you know, run stuff like this. So I don't think it's the alternator. However, I would like to hear if any of you guys have a different opinion about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, do I need a dual battery setup or what? All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and uh, all that good stuff. Check the description below uh, this video for more information. And I'm Jimmy, I'm with One Road here on YouTube and I'll see you next time. Peace out.